broken out and just inside the Halo game. That's it. And that's going to be available. You should be able to find that in the Halo collection in the lifestyle section sometime in mid April. Yes. So, I know I'll have to find it. Yep. Uh, no, because I believe there's some rule against weapons uh, for avatars. I think it might be just a little bit Lightsabers? Yeah, unless it's, <laughs> unless it's a lightsaber. We're going to try to get the hard light exception for the sword. Oh, yeah? Um, yeah. <laughs> hard light button. We're working on the hard light as you go. I just want to point out that it's not a bomb, it's a ball. <laughs> <laughs> Maybe in 
express a little bit more. I know uh, the VGGL has worked with going to like five rounds. There's been some little game type changes and stuff. Tell us a little bit why that why that sort of thing was done to differ from you know what we had in matchmaking or what we had in AGL. Sure. Um, that is one difference between the GGL and the AGLA is that the AGLA has, like Tex mentioned, has the nine one time rounds, so you can really get those hardcore matches of an hour or more. Uh, and the GGL, because we take things a little more, uh, you know, a little more ballsy, we have five time rounds instead, so it's very similar to the matchmaking experience. Um, it's just to make teams that are coming from matchmaking more comfortable going into the grip ball so that everything's not changing at once when they jump right in. Because the GGL this season was right after signups were during when the playlist was launching. So we were thinking that, well, this is someone's first experience in a league. We don't want it to scare them away by having them sit through hour long matches. But now the matchmaking playlist has been out for a while and a lot of teams got their start in the GGL this season. They can move on to the AGLA and get a taste of the real group ball nine round experience. Okay, uh, other questions I wanted, uh, if the text in a moment, I'm going to go ahead and hit everybody that way, I don't have to keep asking questions. Um, if text could talk a little bit about uh, neutral host for us, I know a lot of people here play matchmaking, and I myself even occasionally run into somebody that just rips me apart and teleports around, I can't do anything with it. Goose. I wanted you, if you could tell us a little bit, I know you guys got to play a little bit before everyone else and uh, learned a little more. We saw some launches and stuff going on in the game there. Uh, talk to us a little about that because that's something that a lot of people have trouble with when they first try to pick up Griffin on Reach. <coughs> Bernie. <coughs> and uh, Bernie, I'm going to ask real quick, uh, just a, a curiosity question. Has Jeff ever actually gotten a bomb playing in Griff Ball? Has Griff actually blown up at once? Yeah, yeah. I hope we treat my champions as a word. It's all at once. Yeah, because Jeff, Jeff is Jeff's terrible at the only place. It's been called uh, uh, Halo Horse or Achievement Horse that he does for Achievement Horse. Got totally overwhelmed. I went delete, delete, 
immediately, ah, oh, get out, get out. And I was wondering, uh, will you implement some sort of introduction to people who are completely like opposite and just have no idea what's going on? informative for some of the new players coming in. Uh, we had a lot of people that were playing matchmaking, a um, handful of league players in there, but it seemed to be a lot of people that were interested that hadn't really got into the league yet. Uh, a lot of good questions as far as the development, explaining what's been done since Halo 3, what we've done in Reach. Uh, I thought the highlight reel was phenomenal. That they actually got to see some launches in the highlight reel, uh, something a lot of people may not have been aware that we are able to do. And uh, tried to just hit on most of the main main items, things people need to know coming into the league. I thought everybody on the panel did a great job answering questions, and we had a lot of good questions. I mean, we kind of ran out of time before everybody was done asking questions, so that, that tells you there's a lot of interest out there. thought it was pretty good. Um, you know, being someone who's been in Griffball from the ground floor, I actually learned a lot. Um, it was definitely very exciting. Very entertaining. I love the videos, and it was a great, great couple of announcements. I'm gonna love the uh, the bomb for my avatar. It's gonna be pretty exciting. It's really well done. I am Paul Cross. 
and I really love watching the highlights, especially to hear all the fans' reactions, especially to everyone else's clips except for mine. So it was a lot of fun, and I will try to suck less. <laughs> and I, I thought the panel was really amazing. Some pretty cool stuff. You guys that uh, haven't seen any of it yet are going to be amazed. Especially uh, certain things featuring dashboard stuff. It's going to be awesome.